For more than 100 years, the Realtor voice has been loud and strong in every Florida town, in Tallahassee, and in Washington. Here's a quick look at some impressive victories and milestones. In the 1920s, our presidents and members support the legislature in creating the Florida Real Estate Commission, passing laws preventing state income and inheritance tax, and adopting the terms real estate broker and real estate salesperson. The 19th Amendment gives women the right to vote. And 50-foot oceanfront lots in Miami are available starting at just $745. Our presidents, association, and members make things happen in the 30s. The legislature adopts the Homestead Exemption Act. Congress approves the Central Mortgage Discount Bank. And FHA guarantees private mortgages. The nation's first savings and loan is organized through the Miami Realty Board. Florida leads the way once again. In 1939, an American classic is born, celebrating the sentiment that there's no place like home. FAR presidents and members did big things in the 40s. The organization changes its name to Florida Association of Realtors. Realtors create a war emergency committee and help establish Florida's modern tax structure. And if you were in the market for a brand new car, it would set you back around $1,200. 1950s FAR presidents and members support a formal education program, construction of the Turnpike, and the formation of the Women's Council of Realtors. The U.S. has 8 million TV sets, and in Fort Lauderdale, you'll pay $1,500 a front foot to live on the ocean. Presidents of the 60s partnered with the association and members to introduce associate as a new membership category and help pass the Condominium Act. The Uniform Land Sales Practices Act is signed into law and FAR celebrates its 50th anniversary in 1966. In Sarasota, $9,995 got you a lot and a home with just $10 down and $25 a month. In the 70s, through the strength of RPAC, the Land Conservation Act passes. The legislature enacts the Building Code Act, the Real Estate Recovery Fund is created, and the Florida Housing Finance Law passes. The decade begins with Florida real estate severely undervalued at $14,100. By the end of the 70s, $56,026. In the 80s, the strength of our presidents, members, and our PAC implements the passing of the Time Sharing Act and the Growth Management Act. And a Realtor-supported bill creates the division of real estate. Realtors lay down roots in Tallahassee with an office near the Capitol. During the 90s, presidents and the associations see brokers branch out into mortgage and title companies. FAR helps enact the William E. Sadowski Act, RPAC efforts aid in the passing of the Broker Price Opinion Bill, and both the Private Property Rights Act and the Broker Relationship Disclosure Act are signed into law. At the end of the decade, there was the threat of the Y2K bug bringing computers to a screeching halt. A uh, false alarm. In the new millennium, through the efforts of our presidents, members, and RPAC, the Florida Supreme Court repeals the sales tax on services. The legislature defeats a transfer tax, declares hometown democracy unconstitutional, adopts two commercial lien acts, and passes Amendment 1, so Floridians can move without being penalized. In 2009, the Florida Association of Realtors becomes Florida Realtors. Now we have our own corporate brand. Music streaming services like Spotify, SoundCloud, and Apple Music change the way we listen to our favorite tunes. In recent years, Florida Realtors establishes Florida Realtors PAC, repeals local business taxes, saving real estate sales associates $3.8 million annually, stabilizes the Florida real estate market by containing rampant flood insurance increases. Amendment 2 passes, saving property owners and communities from a more than $700 million tax increase. 
The Realtors of Florida advocate for business liability protections, shielding Realtors from frivolous COVID-19 related lawsuits. The business rent tax is cut to 2%, saving businesses who rent their property more than a billion dollars a year. The Hometown Heroes Housing Program is created, helping frontline workers with down payments and closing costs. And during a worldwide pandemic in the state of Florida, real estate is deemed essential. These are just some of the many victories and milestones accomplished through the business partnership between Florida Realtors and the dedicated, passionate, and committed professionals in Florida known as Realtors. Congratulations on a job well done, and keep up the good work.